Okay, the boys should be here any minute. I hope they haven't changed too much. Ooh, I recognize those curls anywhere. And that bag. <laughs> boys, over here. Mom? Is that how you greet me now? <sighs> 18 years of raising you boys, and all I get is a, Hi, Mom. No. Come here. <laughs> My boys. You've grown up so much. Ugh, stop growing. <laughs> You're already taller than me. How dare you? <laughs> oh, relax. I'm just teasing. Oh, I missed you two so much. The house has been so quiet with you boys being gone. Are you kidding? I love it. You two would constantly run laps around the house since you were two. I feel like I'm in my early 20s again, with a quiet house all to myself. Oh, and who is this young thing behind you? You brought a friend home. Don't worry, honey. The boys told me you were coming with them for break. It's nice to meet you, sweetie. I hope you don't mind me calling you that. I'm just so bad at remembering names at times, so you'll have to forgive me. I'm sure my boys have mentioned that I'm more than happy to have you join us for break. It's just, however, they did not tell me until last minute. And now, I don't have enough to make dinner for everyone. So, here's my idea. Why don't we head back to the house? You boys can unpack, relax a little bit. And while I'm making what I originally planned for dinner, someone can run to the store real quick and get some more of the stuff I need. I'll let you boys decide who gets to go. Sound like a plan? Okay, great. We have a bit of a drive to get home, and I want to hear all about what my boys have been up to. Well, I can't snoop around your rooms anymore to find out what you have been up to. I'm your mom. I'm allowed to do things like that. <laughs> Well, that's the only thing I snoop around in. Hey, sweetie. There you are. Where did my boys go? They went to the store for me. Ah, good. Don't worry, they know exactly what to get. Or at least, they should remember the basics. I made sure that my boys knew how to take care of themselves before they left for college. And they know how I react if they try and act dumb with me. Anyways, better start making dinner then. You don't have any food allergies, do you, sweetie? Okay, good to know. So, how long have you known my boys? Since the first day on campus. Oh, let me guess. First day, all nervous and shy. 
maybe even scared a little bit. And then you meet two friendly faces, and you guys have been friends ever since. <laughs> no, they didn't tell me. I know because I am a mom, and I know how my boys are. They did the exact same thing their first day of kindergarten, actually. They were born with good people skills, and I know where they got it from. <laughs> no, it wasn't from their father. I'm glad the only thing those boys got from that man is his height. The rest come from me. Thank the gods for that also. What happened to their father? Um, well... It's okay. I don't mind if you ask. I guess the boys didn't mention it then. I don't blame them. I raised them all on my own, basically. It wasn't easy, but definitely worth it. I kicked the boy's father out before they were born. At the time, I didn't know I was pregnant because Believe it or not, I was confusing my early pregnancy signs with my allergy symptoms. Getting sick, having a weak stomach, and lightheadedness when I sneezed. Their father was becoming clingy the further in the relationship we got, and then started controlling me. At first, I didn't see it. Until one day he snapped at me for a reason I couldn't control. I started regretting coming home. And if I was left out of work early, I would go somewhere else to avoid going home. I was controlled all my life, and I wasn't going to be in a relationship with a man who was going to do that to me also. And I didn't want to have my boys around that when I found out I was pregnant. When I did find out I was pregnant, I was more than willing to compromise with him over helping with the boys with certain things, because, again, I was on my own. But he refused to. In fact, around this time he got himself a new girlfriend, and she ended up yelling at me. Cops and judges were involved after that, and even his entire family got in on him about helping me. So, things were as they are now. He lost in the end. I gave him chances to be in the boys' life. But he dropped the ball, literally. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I'm dumping this on you. I don't mean to. Yes, I would say that I'm a strong mom, or woman. Raising two boys on your own isn't exactly easy. <laughs> They outnumber me on almost everything. But I know I have raised two good boys who will be even greater men. They know how to treat people. They know what is right and what is wrong. And they know how to cook both rice and pasta correctly. <laughs> Now, what was I doing before I started talking about their father? Oh, yes, cooking. Thank you. Do you know how to cook for yourself, sweetie? You know microwavable meals don't count, right? <laughs> well, my mama always told me 
to find yourself a partner who knows how to cook at least one meal. And she wasn't wrong. There's nothing sexier than watching a man cook. Mm -mm -mm. Wins a girl's heart almost every time. Works on some guys, too. I'm sure you know all the sayings. A full man's a happy man. The best way to someone's heart is through their stomach. One bite from my cooking. I just might have you hooked, sweetie. I'm sure my boys gave you some of my crack cookies during the holidays. <laughs> oh, a friend of mine called them that, and my cookies have been referred to those ever since then. They're just that good. <laughs> well, you can watch me cook if you like, see if you learn a thing or two. But tell me what to do, or step over into this kitchen, and I will put you to work. That I can promise you. Oh, I can think of several things for you to do right now. But it's only your first day here. It would be a shame to put you to work already. I can always find something for you to do, though. If you ever get bored. A moment with me is never boring. If you ever want to talk, I'm always around too, sweetie. Ooh, the boys are back. I always know when someone's on my property. It's like a sixth sense in a way. Or mom's intuition, if you want to call it that. Boys. Thank you for going to the store for me. Do you need help with the bags? <laughs> okay, macho men. Still trying to see who can carry more bags. I swear. You're gonna be my age and still be doing things like this. <laughs> Let's get everything out of the bags and then put away. So I can start making dinner. Hope you have an appetite. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching my video. If you like this, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell so you can be first to know when I put out new videos. If you want to help me make more videos, and are 18 plus, you can support me on Patreon. Just click on the links in the description below. And once you're part of my Patreon family, you will get cool stuff in return like exclusive pictures, access to my Discord server, and exclusive not safe for work audios. So go check it out. And don't forget to follow me on all my socials to see what I'm doing. And I'll see you in the next video. Love you!